Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In continuation to our series on Spark interview questions, let's discuss today what is broadcast variable in Spark. So guys, let's see. And before we see what is broadcast variable, let's see why do we need broadcast variables. Broadcast variables are useful when we need to send large data set across all the nodes in the cluster and these <clears throat> and these data sets needs to be cached in the different nodes across the cluster broadcast uh, variables are used to save the copy of the data of say some seed data which you want to be available in all the nodes and this variable is uh, cached in all the men all the machines or all the nodes in one shot and they are not sent on machine with every task initiations like it happens in the accumulators. So in one shot, we send across all the seed data or the large data set required for processing on all the nodes across the cluster. So what is a broadcast variable, uh, friends? Broadcast variable in Apache Spark is a mechanism for sharing variables across executors and this data set means meant to be only read only. So if we have to share some big data set, a read only big data set across all the nodes in the cluster, broadcast variable is the solution for that. With broadcast variable, these all uh, data sets would be shipped at once and this way they will reduce the overhead on the networks. However, if you talk about the accumulators, they were sent with each and every uh, task initiated by driver program, but that is not the case with broadcast variables. If you have to create broadcast variables, we'll have to call spark context broadcast with the variable V. Uh, the broadcast variable is a wrapper around the value and this value can be read across by all the executors across different nodes. So guys, that is what we have for broadcast variable. Let's quickly look upon the key features once again. Broadcast variables, as we have discussed, allows the programmers to copy the read-only data set across all the nodes in the cluster. Broadcast variable can be used to carry, to copy the bigger data sets in, on all the nodes in a much more efficient manner. <coughs> Uh, let's try to understand one scenario which will help us to understand the utility of broadcast variable. So all the Spark X actions are executed through different set of stages. And these set of stages are separated by a shuffle. So that's a stage boundary for any uh, Spark execution, uh, right? And across this shuffle, uh, we uh, Spark Engine automatically copies the data on the nodes which may be required, right, to running across the different tasks in a serialized form. This means that explicitly creating broadcast variable variables is only useful when tasks across multiple exchanges need, need the same data, or when caching the data in serialized form. Uh, is important. <clears throat> yes, let's try to understand it from the example. Let's see uh, on every uh, node there is some kind of task going on which needs to look up say through the list of all the countries uh, in the world. Now this one data set could be kept in cache across all the nodes so that every time when we need to run the task this is not required to send uh, over the wire with the task. This is already available on the nodes in the cache and can be looked upon from the executor running on that particular node from the local memory itself. So that is where broadcast variable is used and that is the advantage of using the broadcast variable. It can efficiently copy or cache the data on all the nodes in the cluster. So guys, that's it from today's video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.